this year as the PBA lane maintenance pattern is put down the, the condition. The left-handers have bowled very well here, but so have the right-handers, and we've got a right-hander going against the left-hander for the championship. And it would appear that John Miles is going to at least start out. Good little choice. rumble there. Very good choice. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Using a different type ball than Jess Stabrook. They're using a real dull ball that bites the lane. That's what he's trying to get. A good finish at the back end. Meanwhile, Duke found something in the latter stages of the semifinal. Moved in a little with his feet. Stayed with the same angle. And whew, that was close. Not quite the same speed that he had before because the adrenaline. I mean, he, he's already won that match, and he's not really into this match enough yet. Needs to keep that speed really firm. Or that ball's going to creep high like that every time. Boy, during the commercial break, Norm Duke was joking with the crowd, trying to stay loose. And this is a different player than we've seen in past years. Well, it's a confident player. So it's a similar story to Mazza. I mean, I know that, that Duke, as he shoots his spare from the left again, and uh, I don't know. I'll tell you what. Well, he missed the first two spares in the semifinal game and went on to win over Stayrook. But I'm not so sure he'll be able to pull that off against Mazza. Well, we try and extol him and say how great he's bowling, how much confidence he has as he keeps whiffing all these spares. I mean, <laughs> he's smiling about it himself, though. I'll tell you, it's a good sign when you can laugh at yourself. You know, if you look at the two players' yeah, body but missing English, spares in a championship round is not a laughing matter. Well, but it's, you don't want to get down on yourself either, Dan. All right. Boy, oh boy. I guess he's got to get behind to come out and get the speed back up. Well, man, that makes him angry. It's intentionally misses him on purpose just to lull his comp opponent Durbin, into Durbin, a false you're, you're reaching. Security. You are really reaching well, now. I don't know something. All right. I don't know. I don't either. I don't like shooting left-hand spares on the left side of the lane. Over the thumb hole, high and a two pin. You gotta trust it. It's just he threw that shot like he was just uh, kind of guiding it into the pocket, afraid it wouldn't make it back, and uh, steered it right up there high. Fortunate he didn't get a split. John averaged 225.3 on this pair, and had one stretch during match play where he won 12 consecutive matches. Four-step player holds the ball waist high, kind of rocks those toes, pushes and steps. Basically a free swing, head is steady, back swing slightly higher, nice deep knee bend. That's the form that's won three titles so far this year. And provided him with seven championship round appearances. Both of these players are tied in that department. That's a lot. Considering there's a lot of bowling left. Oh, major league break there as the eight pin gets tackled from behind. And the difference in speed between the two players. Mazza just basically stroking the ball, a nice even speed going down the lane, letting the, uh, the surface of the ball, the back end of the lane bring the ball in. Duke overcoming everything with speed. Speed and hand position and, uh, and a quicker approach. Spare ball utilized. And Norm Duke steps up, working on a strike in the second, trailing by 11. Doesn't seem to be bothered by the miss. Spare? He doesn't seem to be bothered by much of anything. Uh, as I was trying to point out earlier, being uh, respected is very important to him. <laughs> as he leaves his third solid nine in a game in three frames. That's, what's causing that is that, that violent reaction at the back end of the lane. That ball is just turning left and just chopping through those pins. The pins are no match for those killer balls going through there. Better. Well, he's confident in that one. He's made it several times before. He's left it too many times. Norma, the 216-190 victory over Just Stay Rook in the semifinal. And we're in the title match, in case you've just tuned in to ESPN. A history-making performance for Jess Stayrook in game number two as he converted the 
Right now, Mazza just trying to keep his thoughts focused and relaxed. And on himself, not worry about his opponent. He liked that one. I think what's going through Duke's mind is that I don't think he thinks Mazza has lined up very well or very confident on, uh, on this angle. Remember that John talked about he wasn't sure. He was, you know, he was going to go inside. That's where he prefers. But then he thought uh, at the last minute he'd move outside, and that's where he's playing. Over the thumb hole and through the woods, but he leaves the solid 7 hit. The only thing positive in his mind there is that he threw the ball the way he wanted to throw it, trusted it, and got a reaction to the one-two pocket. As you alluded to, John is 2-0 and from the top seat position this year, 2-1 and lifetime. And the one time he lost was in Cleveland a year or two ago when he started with the first four or five strikes in a row, but then uh, had a mental lapse in the middle of the game, had a couple splits, and wound up losing. Jimmy Pensack won that tournament, didn't he? That's correct. Ahead by 10. But far from over. Better Smooth stroke. Uh, better roll there. You can see that one coming off his hand. That's a confidence builder there. Well... Again, this is all part of this visualization and sports psychology that he's talking about. You know, visualize how you want the ball to arc going down the lane, how you want it to come off your hand, how you want to act. Um, he's making a believer of a lot of people. Oh, plenty of speed there. I think you're dead on the money in terms of assessment. Norm Duke thinks he's going to win this match. His body English, everything about him just exudes confidence right now. Uh, just studying him, there's no side-to-side uh, -side motion of that head, just confidence as he comes back. He's nothing negative going into his mind. Even when he misses the spares, he thinks he can overcome it. He did in the semifinal. See the thumb hang just a hair on that one, Dan? Not quite the, the great roll that he's had the previous shots, and the 10 pin was the result. And there was also more loft because he did hang up. That's right. See, and what we mean by that is that he didn't get the thumb out of the ball as clean and, and quick as he had in some of the previous shots. High backswing. Right here, some of the fingers come too much together. See the loft? Now, by and large, he's pretty much been laying the ball down within a foot of the foul line. That one was two and a half to three feet out there. Right. right on line, his accuracy was still the same, speed was still the same, but uh, left a solid 10. Mazza by one, could be 11 if he strikes here on 16. Just won't trust it when the strike is up there, Denny. See, that, what that registers to me as I watch him, you know, is that inside his mind, he's just not confident of where he's playing the lane. He, he won't throw it to the left and, and feel that it's coming back when he's got a strike up. Regardless of where John Mazza or Norm Duke finish, both will eclipse the $100,000 barrier, I think, for the first time in both of their careers. Jeff Stabrook made similar split. Doesn't convert. So an open in the sixth. And it's now an 11-pin lead for Norm Duke. So Mazza has plenty of work left. And he's going to have to utilize all of these techniques uh, from his sports psychologist. You know, it's interesting. It seems to be the contemporary thing of the 1990s and late 1980s that a lot of people in different sports are using sports psychologists. Well, for years, athletes have done nothing but work on the physical game and very little on the mental game. Meanwhile, they tell you that the game is 90% mental. Not a good shot there for Mazza on 15. Now... Will he do the same thing that Stayrook did and realize that, hey, I just don't have a good reaction. I'm going to try something here, or will he stick with the outside line? I think he's going to stick with the outside line because he tried inside in practice and didn't have a good reaction there. See how he puts his last two fingers in for the spare there, the ring finger and the little finger, to straighten it out. Another tip. You're going to see the very little rotation. Cuts down the possibility of a chop and makes the spare conversion a lot easier. 